We scoured grocery stores to find their generic booze brands. Right. And gave them a taste test with the experts to see if we're sacrificing taste to save money. We headed to Hus Brewery and asked Aaron Dubel for our first taste test. Two different styles of Trader Joe's beers. Simpler times. A lot of these generic beers are contract brewed by bigger brewers who are not as popular as your big domestic names. <laughs> Let's give it a try. All right. I like that this beer is light. It's not too heavy, mm -hmm. and it's got a huge flavor to it. And it's only $3.99 for a six-pack. I've had Trader Jose's before, and it's really quite tasty. It is. Is it comparable to a Corona, a Takati, that kind of a thing, do you think? I think it is. So it is going to have that same flavor impact that those lagers do have. And at $5.99 for a six-pack, you're going to save a few bucks compared to Corona. Next up, we met up with sommelier and liquor expert Sam Kawa and compared wine, starting with the Cabernet Sauvignon. This is from the Trader Joe region of the... Of Santa Barbara. Of Santa Barbara. It's quite simple. Do you taste anything right now on the wine? No. It's kind of there and gone. Yep, it's I, there and I gone. encourage you, I challenge you to try a little bit more of an expensive bottle. We compared it to Costco's brand, which, pro tip, you can buy in most states without a membership. That's well-made wine. Good Fantastic job. Fantastic Kirkland good job, wine. Kirkland. And you're spending less than 10 bucks for a good red wine. But what about the whites? Trader Joe's Grand Reserve Chardonnay. Sounds fancy. Lot 81. Grand Reserve in the United States. Marketing term. Let's see if it's a grand reserve. Let's see. For 10 bucks, yes, I would drink that. And this time, Trader Joe's definitely beat out Costco. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> well, we have a win win. Kirkland Red was fantastic, and the Trader Joe's White was better. Yeah, we need a tiebreaker. You know? <laughs> no. That's when we go straight for the vodka. Yeah. Vodka from both Trader Joe's and Costco. It has a smooth, citrusy finish. Mm -hmm. A little to no bite. Has notes of vanilla. It's tasty stuff. This is fifteen dollars. Very well spent. I think it's a great, a great vodka. Woo! Are you done? <laughs> and then we tested Trader Joe's, the art of the still vodka. I would say this would be more enjoyable by itself on the rocks. Kirkland would be a fun vodka Red Bull, vodka, you know. The cosmopolitan. And at around $14 each, you can't go wrong with either. Who's getting me the Uber? <laughs> Testing out generic booze on the top of the list.